So we want to open a clinic in Hackney that's going to give osteopathy to those that can't afford it. We want to bring osteopathy, which is already a, an evidence-based therapy, but currently only really for back or neck pain. So we want to look at the other types of conditions that we do, things like joint pain, digestive problems, diabetic neuropathy, possibly migraines, headaches, reflux. There's lots of conditions that people visit osteopaths for, um, but we couldn't possibly say we treat that because there's no evidence. So we want to have a clinic that's going to give cheap or reduced rate healthcare to people who couldn't otherwise afford it. We're going to make it affordable by staffing it with recent graduates who get a low but fixed salary and also provide them with mentoring. When I worked in Cambridge we did a big um, questionnaire, a big survey, and it came out that a third of the doctors there thought we were amazing, thought we'd help save lots of um, operations. A third said, you know, we're great but there's no money to have us on the NHS. And a third wrote things like they're quacks. They said things like, you know, complete nonsense, it's not scientific in the slightest. Um, we actually correlated that with how much they knew about our profession and how much time we spent studying, etc. So it was clear that these ones were ignorant and there's no other way of saying it really. So can you tell me a little bit about your experiences of pain in your life? Well, I've had fibromyalgia for 16 years, so that means I'm in constant pain. It's a chronic pain condition. Um, I also had a hip operation on my left hip four years ago, and I've never really been out of pain since then. So what medicines do you take to help? I take arcoxia for the fibromyalgia, um, and I do get prescribed um, codeine and paracetamol, but I only take that when I really have to because I'm so scared of getting addicted to it. Um, I've been sent to pain clinics, but they're only short courses, um, and just nobody seems to care about musculoskeletal problems. Again, one of the things that's quite interesting is how your body reacts to stress. And it seems like some of the fibromyalgia stuff is about everything amping up, so your muscles get a bit tighter, your digestion gets a bit worse. I have isamic heart disease, I have type 2 diabetes, I have diabetic retinopathy. For me, osteopathy is about trying to improve the function of the body and allowing someone to function in their optimum. Okay, and lots of things stop that happening. The current treatment for diabetic neuropathy is, is really strong painkillers like pregabalin, gabapentin. And diabetics are renowned for getting quite severe ulcers. And because they lose the sensation, the ulcers get worse. They don't heal properly, which leads to more kind of cellulitis or even gangrene and amputation in the worst case. We can make things less painful so you can exercise. And exercise has been shown to help turn, um, turn around a lot of cardiovascular problems. Mm -hmm. um, we can improve the drainage through the lower limbs. You know, to alleviate the pain is half the battle, isn't it? You know, I've never had a problem with my feet. I mean, would you attribute that to the increased circulation by going to the osteopath? With cellulitis like this, you would expect to see feet 10 times worse than that. So to have such nice feet, considering other things going on, I think is more than just circumstance. Yeah, so this is a, a real typical thing I see. I work in one of the corporate banks at the moment and literally everyone has lower back or neck pain from spending 12 hours plus in front of a computer. I'm just looking for tender points in the muscle that control your sort of mouse fingers. So I'm just putting a bit of pressure in. I'm just compressing your wrists and then just stretching those tendons. So we're getting the muscle belly being stretched there. When it first happened, I, I probably spent about 700 on the chair and desk. So this is what caused my thumb to really hurt. So I've put that to the back. I really didn't like this. So I've got this, I've got this, <laughs> the list goes on, and I've got this, yeah, so I've got quite a few. Osteopathy isn't available to most people because either they can't afford it or don't have private health care or because it's not available on the NHS. To start this project off, we want to um, open a big clinic that's going to um, give affordable osteopathic treatment to people with pain. I can't pay the sort of prices that most people charge. Yeah. Um, but as a disabled person, I do get allowances, mm. and that's what they should be used for. It should be. It should be available on the NHS because it works. You know, it's. It's. I felt like I. I had to suffer for a long time and slowly discover uh, about this. 
I think once we've shown that this, um, this sort of blueprint can work, we like to find other inspired entrepreneurs, um, osteopaths around the country who would take on the, the project for themselves. And that would be fantastic, not just because of opening up the osteopathy, but from the research side, because multi-centre trials mean we can have far more data and lots and lots of data, lots and lots of cheap treatments to people who wouldn't get it otherwise. Yeah, and then the large numbers that will be coming in will allow us to do the data and to, to get the numbers that necessary for, for large randomly controlled trials, which will give us the, the, obviously the evidence to, to then go to the NHS and say, look, we can do this, here's the facts, here's the evidence, maybe you should think about um, financing some of our, our treatments. We help people cope, we help them get on with their daily lives um, and hopefully by taking away some of the pain it allows them to enjoy life more, more evenly. It's difficult to cope with it and I think that one of the most beneficial things that I've found is going to the osteopath. I do do some gardening but I can't do as much as I used to be able to. I was out there yesterday for about an hour but you know, I was in a lot of pain this morning. Other people don't, when they see me and they see I'm cheerful and they see me going out and doing things, they don't realise how painful it is and it makes me very depressed. Stress makes us feel more pain, anxiety gives us more pain. So osteopaths I think are very good at looking at that person as a whole. Because we have nice long treatments, we have time to stop and talk to people and really try and understand their problem. It's, I'm just back to normal now. I'm, I'm normal functioning person, I can work again, I can ride my bike. And it was like being revitalised. I'm a very active person and I do go out, I'm on various committees and things like that. Um, but I, I can't, well I certainly can't dance, I'd love to be able to dance. Yeah. <laughs>